Hi, this is David in the in the uh, in the dark exhibit in the Western Heritage Museum and the Lee County Cowboy Hall of Fame. I want to invite you all to come out and see this great, wonderful exhibit about creatures of the night. And one creature of the night that we do see is the owls. And owls are in New Mexico. We have 14 species of owls that are in New Mexico. And I'll give you a few varieties you would see in Lee County, even up into the mountains of uh, Rio and Cloudcroft in that area. You're going to see burrowing owls. Burrowing owls are usually out on the prairies and places where we have prey dock towns because those owls are using empty burrows of the, the prairie dogs as their nesting, as their roosting habitat, their home basically. They don't have any way to dig on this creature. They have talons, but there's no way they can dig those burrows, so they're kind of opportunist type individuals. They move in on something that's been abandoned. And so we have spotted owls. Spotted owls are about the same size as this barred owl, but it has big spots on it like a fawn. It just has a new coat, it's spotted. Then we have one that's called the flammulated owl, and it's about this big also, and you'll find that in the, the pine forest and up into the mountains west of us here in Guadalupe and up through there to Riadosa. And it looks like a brand new baby chick. It's fluffy, the feathers are puffed up on it. It, it's a, it looks like a duster. Uh, and it has a big showy green, a greenish eyes on it, but it's about this size and it's a hard one to see because it, it, it really likes to stay hidden in, into the forest canopy. The great horned owl is an owl that stands almost three foot tall. And when we say horned, it has tufts of feathers that comes out of its ears on top of its head. And they look like horns, you know, sticking up. So it's called the great horned owl. A lot of people like me, my last name is Hooten. We call them the Hootenanny owls back in Missouri where I'm from in the Ozark because they are the one that calls out the hoot owl sound with in, into the forest. And then finally we have the barn owl. We had Tito that was in the uh, news here at the museum just a few weeks, a week ago. Uh, the one that we took to the refuge in Carlsbad. So barn owls are very prolific. Barn owls are a great hunter of the night. Where other owls like the bard and the ones I'm talking to you about here right now, they have to have a little bit of light with the moonlight, starlight to see the creatures of the night, the mice, the rats, and the other things that they eat that is running through the forest floor or in the barn or around the house or something like that that's outside. But the barn owl has a unique creature. It can be in total darkness and see movement and detect the animal as it's running across the floor. So this is a little bit about the owls in New Mexico. Actually around the world there's 150 actual species. And if you want to be an ornithologist, a person that studies birds, they have broke that down into actually 220 because they've subdivided some categories of unique owls around the world. And they're in all parts of the globe. They're in, on the Arctic Circle, uh, they're in the rainforest, they're on the high top mountains, anywhere where there's mice or there's a, there's a prey for them to eat, you'll find owls. The only region of the world in, 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 on our globe, our planet, is Antarctica. And there are no owls in the environment there. There's 19 species in the United States and Canada and 14 of those reside in New Mexico. So this is a little fact about owls. David in the museum.